Hello, my name is Hughes5, and welcome back to another one of these videos. I haven't done one in a few weeks, I don't think. But, then again, it's not actually a reason for that. <laughs> but, on the 26th of this month, or starting on the 26th of this month, I am on Holobops. Or, if you're not Welsh, holidays. <laughs> I'm gonna be I'm gonna be on holiday slash vacation as well. Um, considering, depending on where you are, a holiday is just a holiday. Or take the U.S. for example, a holiday normally comes with a event of some form, such as like St. Patrick's Day, or. Martin Luther King Day, I can't think of any off the top of my head right now, but a holiday normally comes with a significant thing behind it, such as like, then again, no, because when I say the Christmas holidays, Americans go, oh, you mean winter vacation, so it, yeah, no, a hold uh, over here. A holiday literally just means a break away from something. But the point is, going away on holiday because I finally, 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 finally have a passport. Seriously, I've only had, I've only got a passport for the first time this year. I am 23, believe it or not. A lot of people think I'm a lot older, somewhere between 27 and 30. But 23, and I have never been overseas. I've never even been to Ireland, which is literally a spit away. That is also another saying which a lot of people won't get. It just basically means they're so close. If you spit, you can hear yeah, it. Spit. <sighs> oh well, point is, we're going overseas for a week. And we are going to the beautiful, beautiful city of Porto. Why Porto? Because it was originally going to be Germany, but then my family was like, no, no, we don't want to go, we, we don't want to go to Germany, we need to find somewhere else. So it came down to me. Now the way I do things is uh, really easy. Re really easy. I look up cheap flights. Uh, this is with any holiday slash vacation, by the way. I look up the cheapest ones. I will see uh, where you have to leave for the cheapest flights. Or, again, the cheapest way of getting there. And I will book it, sort it, done. Sort it and done. And then I will go over to Airbnb, I'll find a nice, cheap Airbnb that is relatively close to the airport or the train station or wherever we are departing from. Did that, as, but it also has to be within a, a vicinity of somewhere local, such as a beach, a food place, as well as just a general shop. Done that, sorted that. I come back to my mother, be like, everything sorted, bada bing, bada boom, all done, all done and dusted. We're ready to go. Even though I've done everything in the way that I wanted to, they like that. My mother's like, but what about when we get there? How are we going to get around places? I'm like, well, that's what Uber's for. I'm sure Porto has Ubers, and she's like, no, you can't do that. You have to see what the buses are, the trains are, the trams are, the taxis. You know, where everything is in walking distance and blah, 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 blah. And I'm... And I'm just... I'm just there and I'm like, my way is so much easier. My way is just hassle-free. My way is... Literally, find the cheapest flight possible. Book one of the cheaper places out there. Again, with a certain limitation, such as how far away it is, actually what the reviews are on it, as well as what how close it is to certain things. So I, I don't go for the literal cheapest, because the literal cheapest was in the middle of nowhere, and 
I wouldn't even know how to get to it from said airport. So, you know, I, I don't go with the cheapest of the cheapest. I just go with the cheapest that meets the categories that uh, I set for it. Or the limitations I set for it, I suppose. I don't know. But what the point is, I'm going to get really, really out of my comfort zone and actually try and vlog as much of it as possible. And the reason why I'm going to get really out of my comfort zone and try and vlog as much as is possible is because normally I take my little action camera, which is absolutely lovely for uh, vlogging on because it is tiny. It is tiny and this camera is going to die soon. Right, back with charging camera. But as I was saying, um, my way of doing it was really hassle-free, um, but of course, needing to deal with family members, it becomes a lot less so. But out of my comfort zone, that's where I was. Um, my plans are, instead of taking my lovely little action camera, which I absolutely adore for vlogging, because like I said, it is tiny and it just fits in your pocket, and, it, it, and it's just perfect. The microphone on it is meh, but it's perfect just because of the size. Instead, I'm taking this camera, which is an older, just, recording camera. It's just, it's an older one and I should really get a new one, but it does what I want and I, I really, I've never complained about it. Again, the quality isn't as good as today's cameras by any means. Like, the quality on my phone, for example, can, can sort of better it in ways. But I feel like if I actually use this camera, it's going to take me out of my comfort zone and it'll actually make me do it. Because the thing about having a little camera is it's all it's in your pocket and it's just like, well, I'll take it out and it'll look a little bit awkward to have this just little camera pointing at things. So I could use my phone, but the thing is about my phone, it, it's terrible. <laughs> the memory on it is appalling, so I wouldn't be able to record all that much. So I'm just like, you know what, stuff it. I'm going to take you out of my comfort zone and actually use a proper camera and even a proper mic and do it that way. So that's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm hoping for. I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but that's what I'm hoping for. So hopefully... <sighs> God darn it. People always want to talk to me. But yes, comfort zone. Hopefully it'll take me out of it and hopefully I can actually vlog it. Considering holidays I've gone on prior, I have actually vlogged to an extent. Take last year for example, I went to... I went up England to Bath, Weston and a few other places. However, I only vlogged the first day. I only vlogged the first day and there was a lot of jokes in it, so it, it was funny, however, I didn't keep any of it. I didn't keep any of it because I was like, well, it's pointless because it was only one day. It was one day out of five. With this, as it's my first time ever overseas, in a very, very beautiful looking city, I thought I will try my darndest to actually record as much of it as I can. Especially day one. I'll, I'll record a heck of a lot on day one because, like I said, then you yeah, get technically day two because day one I'm traveling up to England where there won't be a lot. There won't be a lot done or said because um, I'll just be traveling up to London on day one. It's very much a rushing day, where immediately after work I need to run on down to the train station and have a very long, a very long train ride to London 
um, London Stamford, considering that's where the plane is uh, going from. I could have gone with I could have gone with my quote unquote local airport, aka Cardiff. The plane tickets were more expensive. However, if you actually take into consideration how expensive the train tickets are, it kind it it makes it hardly any cheaper. <laughs> So, we probably could have gone from Cardiff. We probably could have and should have gone from Cardiff, even though it was a lot more expensive. But like I said, taking in consideration the tickets for the train and the price of the hotel to stay overnight, it works out rough, almost roughly the same price as a plane ticket from Cardiff. But oh well, it's in the adventure. That's that's what I'm trying to get at. It, it's all in the adventure of, of doing this, hence why I was perfectly okay with it being up London, considering we're only staying over there for a night. So that means we're going to have the, an adventure traveling up there, staying over there, needing to wake up moderately early to get, actually get into the airport. But the airport is literally across the road from where we're staying. And then it's the joys of actually dealing with an airport for the very first time. And then flying for the very first time. My little sister, she is 10, and this is gonna be her first ever uh, plane ride as well. And I don't know how she's gonna take it. I don't know how I'm gonna take it. My mother, she's done many, many plane rides in her uh, in her days. But me and my sister, I don't know how the heck we're gonna take it. Right now, I need to go on a quote-unquote shopping spree, which all it actually means is, is, is these things, like three little items. And a new wallet, a travel wallet, as I'm calling it, universal plugs and then a gonna be a travel backpack reason why is because I was very much in the I was very much in the, in the thing of pack light if you, if you pack light it'll work out even cheaper uh, however I'm literally the only one actually packing light considering my mother is going to have suitcase and uh, Hopefully an overhead suitcase. We need to actually measure it. <sighs> I need to actually, yeah, we need to measure it. Obviously, just clothes, obviously. And then my mother and my sister is gonna have two carry-ons. Um, two carry-ons which can just slip under the seats in front of them. However, they are tiny. They're like this. They're like a size of a of a loaf of bread. They are, they are tiny. Um, and a backpack is a, a backpack now, just just a generic sized backpack. You know, something like this, just just a generic backpack. Yeah, no, it is ten centimeters, just ten centimeters, too big to get classed as carry-on. It is classed as overhead. Ten centimeters too big, but also a heck of a lot smaller than an actual overhead an actual overhead is a lot bigger than that you can fit a lot more into it but because it is not a carry-on by 10 centimeters you got to put the price label of an overhead even though it is a lot lot smaller than a overhead rather annoying really but oh well I have rambled way too much. This is already going to be like a 10 minute video. I've rambled way too much. But yeah, hopefully in September, because I will need, not September, November rather. Hopefully in November, considering September has actually gone. But um, November, um, starting the 5th, hopefully. Hopefully starting the 5th, you are going to have a uh, week streak of uh, videos. Uh, so there will hopefully be a video every day uh, on this channel of my holiday in Porto. Hopefully. 
unless if I chicken out and I don't actually, uh, I don't actually vlog it. But yeah, that's that's going to be pretty much it. Hopefully, I don't chicken out, especially with me saying all this. But yeah, I do want to say thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in another video.